Hello, skeptics, and welcome to the second episode of Busted. This is Illogical. And today we have the lovely Kete. Hello, everybody. Who would like to have uh, a few minutes on the soapbox here and to talk to you guys about a story that broke quite some time ago, but really has been in dire need of a thorough going over and some interesting little side notes that came up during our investigation. Uh, we are going to go ahead. She's already over there on her end, so I'm actually going to turn the floor to her. Okay. Carry on, the kitty. The carcass squirrel will remain quiet until queued. Okay. Uh, when I first saw this story, it was already... Uh, a couple of months old, and we couldn't cover it before now. Uh, it's from the website Women You Should Know, and it shows the cover of uh, the Girls' Life magazine, and the headline is a proud graphic designer shows Girls Life magazine uh, what their cover should look like. And I looked at the real cover and what the social justice warrior here in case thought that it should look like, read the article and was a little bit puzzled. Uh, so, for example, uh, one of the things in the cover was best year ever, how to have fun, make friends and get all A's. Why is it so wrong? Uh, also, I was puzzled. Uh, uh, it's a magazine for teenagers. Why teenagers are not allowed to be teenagers? Why they have to be uh, uh, mini robot versions of a social justice warrior feminist at such a young age? And above all, I was puzzled about why specifically this issue. And then there was a link saying a couple of weeks ago, we ran a piece about an image that was posted on social media and went viral. So I went to this next link. And just a moment, please. There we go. I think that's, I believe that's the one you're looking for. Yes. And I was, um, girls deserve a better life, better than the main stereotype version marketed to them. And I was, girls' life, boys' life. And I came across this photo on Facebook taken by a person at a local county library that shows real covers of both the Girls' Life and Boys' Life magazines. Warning, if you have high blood pressure, look away. My head spun, my blood boiled, and my jaw just hit the floor. And I was, um, what? Then, as uh, a good skeptic, I decided to do some digging on the internet. Uh, yeah, the kitty went to the Google because uh, uh, I don't think that facts 
are dealt with opinions. My opinion is irrelevant in the real world or on the internet. So I went digging. So first I looked into uh, women you should know and uh, I was not really impressed. Our mission is to tell the untold stories of relatable everyday women across the, the country and globe who are making things happen in their world. Women who have outperformed, innovated, discovered, defied and soared. It's not about 15 minutes of fame. No, really? Oh, okay. Okay, okay. I'm not impressed. But then uh, I came, uh, I landed straight to the uh, story of where the polemic about girls' life versus boys' life magazine came from. it on mprnews.org. And the more I read, the more I was weirded out with what I was reading. The claim here is that my Matt Fry took this photo at his local library in Kansas City. This is Minnesota. When he knows Missouri. Missouri he noticed the stark difference between the messages for boys and girls. Girls Life, a magazine for girls. Boys Life, a scout boys, Boy Scouts magazine. First off, we are dealing with apples and oranges. Going so here, when Matt Fry took his kids to the library, he wasn't expecting to start an internet of war. Uh, when he saw his seven-year-old daughter looking at the cover of Girls Life magazine, he felt he had to do something. Okay, seven-year-old daughter looking at the cover of Girls Life magazine. I, as a skeptic, have to think about not uh, a magazine for seven-year-old kids for teenagers. It sounds like bad text, parenting to me. <sighs> yeah. Uh, the text frame in the covers model, the cover models face promises tips for your drinks hair, fall fashion you love, quiz, are you ready for a boyfriend? It asks, a few rows up said boys life magazine with the cover explore your future astronaut artist firefighter chef um fat put them side by side and snap the photo which he posted i found it funny uh that actually the boys life magazine uh if you careful look at the picture uh, it has uh, the address of the library, while the Girls Life magazine has the barcode. It doesn't have the address of the library. Now, if I may break in here for just a moment, this is actually an example of two different editions of, of, of magazines, and, they all, and almost all magazines do this. With the exception, of course, of Boys Life, which is almost never found on newsstands. And usually when it is, this area here where the address is, is never is, is actually a, a plain white thing. This is actually a direct mail edition. This is a newsstand edition. See the difference? There's a barcode here. As opposed yeah. to uh, an address. Uh, Go ahead. Just let me, just let me see. If Girls Life, if this edition of Girls Life was in a library, it would be a subscription. There would be a mailing address on it, and it doesn't. There is the mailing address from the Boys Life magazine. Please yes. note also that it's on the shelf where, where it belongs, apparently highlights, 
and that is a children's magazine uh, which is aimed at the four to about nine set. No, no. Uh, Matt Fry says that he took the picture to that he put them side by side. He, but the thing is, uh, I've been uh, to libraries since I was eight. So basically, over forty years uh, in libraries, internet, the, inter the advent of internet never stopped me from going to libraries, especially because I work in research. Uh, and sometimes research requires you go into libraries. And magazines are not displayed like this in libraries. Uh, so... Well, and there's there's another thing here. If you're seeing a newsstand edition here and a direct mail version, uh, why on earth would you go, if, if this was actually happened in the library, why would you buy a copy of Girl's Life, take it into the library, and then take the picture? It makes no sense. Yeah. Allegedly, his seven-year-old daughter was holding this magazine. At the library. But where? At the library. Where is the library address on this issue? Missing because in I action. I only see it missing in action. So, uh, this looks a lot, a hell of a lot, like a stage picture. I'm sorry. I reserve the, the right the, to say that in all likelihood, uh this story never happened honestly this picture is staged we already know the picture is staged but the likelihood of the story being the way being as stated is thin at best <coughs> so uh, and that would be would on a very good day uh would you care to and on uh, what is the difference between boys' life and girls' life? Well, once again, to the Google, and the Google machine actually returned a couple of uh, a couple of things, starting with a Wikipedia article on Girls' Life magazine, which is admitted, which is a bi-monthly. Uh, it's a bi-monthly critter put together by one Karen Bachram. Okay, and I'm pretty sure she didn't intend for her magazine to be used like this. Um, she covers a lot of different stuff across the board. Uh, generally, what she her her demographic, her her target demographic is girls 13 to 19. Or actually, let's go with let's go 12 to 12 to 20 as a par you're tr she's trying to get trying to give them advice to kind of deal with life you know because of course as a lot of as everybody that has is watching this video should know being a teenager sucks it's hard it, it's very painful okay Mm -hmm. uh, we've got a whole lot of things here with they've, they've got a whole bunch of stuff this is a general this is a general public facing magazine and it is a girl, specifically a girl's interest magazine. If girls weren't interested, they'd be printing something else. <coughs> Boys what life. Does, on the, what? What, does it deal, what, the, what girls life deal with? What does it cover? Girl stuff. Uh, girls usually, life. usually uh, some, it seems to be a mix. Uh, you know, some of the kinds of things that they've been covering would be, would be just as ho at home on the cover of Tiger Beat, but other things are kind of little help, self help pieces. Uh, there's one that we're actually going to look into a little bit later, if I'm not mistaken, uh, yeah. that involves a sports star who gained confidence and then and then oh. got all got all the way to the pros. It's here. It covers a range of topics. Loads and loads of fun topics, hairstyles, relationship, peer pressure, time management, 
stress relief, self-esteem, uh, a pen pal program, just all sorts of fun things. And it's Racism, considered sexual abuse, lots of things. Mm -hmm. Lots of everything. Uh, and usually the mix, and most, of the, most of the images or most of the issues that we looked into have a pretty, have a fairly even mix of these things because you can't mm -hmm. do all heavy all the time. Especially mm -hmm. not when you're dealing with girls. Okay. <laughs> uh, most, most, most girls' interest magazines tend to stay on the light side of things. This one here gets into some heavy stuff, which is actually kind of really neat. Uh, the title, of course, Girls' Life is a play on Boys' Life, which segues very nicely into the other side of that. <coughs> Boys' Life is published in a couple different editions, uh, but they're turned to the target audience. Uh, they're tuned to two specific target audiences. There's your Cub Scouts and Weeblos. Uh, and then there are the regular Boy Scout troops. Okay. Boy's Life has been, in, has been in existence for, is a monthly thing, and has been in existence many, 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 many moons. It was actually, it was well into it. Uh, the first issue was March 1911 in a, as a regular edition. And I had a subscription to it when I was a Boy Scout. And we're talking about the 1980s. Okay. Think about this for just a couple of minutes, folks. This thing here. Everything. Every, uh, the two editions. You got your 6 to 10 year olds. And your 11 to 18s. Uh, and it is, in fact. Um, it, it's actually. A tr it's almost a trade magazine. For the type of. For, for the type of content it is targeted to. It's targeted specifically at members of the Boy Scouts of America. Mm -hmm. Okay. You, you, what you're looking at is an apples and oranges situation. The Boy Scouts uh, have a very set purpose. And while the messages are mostly positive, or actually are almost entirely positive, I've seen some really, I've seen some silly stuff in Boy's Life magazine, but Boy's Life being what it is, uh, it's really designed for, it, it's really designed to draw out more of the lessons of the Boy Scouts of America than it is anything else. In fact, the Boy Scouts of America itself publishes the magazine. Okay. Okay. Um, we don't even have circulation numbers for, uh, for Girl's Life. Boy's Life's uh, 2013, it looks like, yeah, the 23rd, they're 23, uh, 2013 circulation was over a million copies monthly. One for mm -hmm. one to a Boy Scout is usually what's considered par. Okay, the Boy Scouts themselves were incepted in 1910 uh, by Sir Baden Powell, uh, a lovely British gentleman that wanted to get the idea of that wanted to show younger boy that wanted to show younger boys the nature of military and uh, the nature of the military and give them some survival skills that would some skills period actually that would give them a leg up if they wanted up having to join the military and in 1910 that was a very real possibility okay mm -hmm. a lot of Go ahead. what about the girl scouts and boy scouts what is the difference uh, the Boy Scouts is actually set up on a, on a military on along military lines with specific achievements. You have four segments for Cub Scouts: uh, uh, Tiger, Bear, and Wolf. Uh, and I believe they're actually in that order. Uh, and then Weeblos, which is your introduction to the reg to the regular Boy Scouts. Regular Boy Scouts uh, has a specific grade has a specific rank structure. Uh, and a hierarchy very similar to that of any other military organization, which is what it was actually intended originally to do, was prep young boys, and specifically boys, uh, for some of the things that they would need for military service. In fact, in today's, for in the United States at least, uh, those who achieve the rank of Eagle Scout actually get a one-rank bonus when they, when they enlist. 
not if they're commissioned, yeah. but when they enlist, they get they get uh, they get an additional rank because they are expected to know things that somebody without the Eagle Scouting thing would actually know. Uh, Boy Scouting, yeah. the Boy Scouts of America also covers uh, sea scouting, adventuring, which is for 14 to 20 year old, 21 year olds, uh, and boys and girls both, I might add, and the venture and sea scouting programs also result in that one rank promotion, the one rank auto promotion, if you if you actually manage to make it through uh, all the way to its highest rank. Because uh, there is lots and lots and lots of ranking and sometimes throating at the mouth from the feminists and the SJWs because girls are not allowed at the boys' scouts. And uh, there is also the thing about uh, women in the military and uh, women's draft. And uh, the difference between how the Girl Scouts and the Boy Scouts is uh, uh, structured. Well, with the Girl Scouts, the uh, promotion through the ranks is by age. Uh, and believe me, if you want to be an Eagle Scout, you're gonna. If you want to be an Eagle Scout, you're gonna have to earn that shit. And they have time and grade requirements. You will be lucky to make Eagle Scout before you're 17. Actually, you won't make Eagle Scout before you're 17, and you'll be lucky to get even one cluster, uh, one or maybe two clusters by the time you're 18, because it's six months in grade for each one. That's the thing. Uh, instead of pushing to have the girls having the right and signing petitions at change.org and whatever. Uh, if uh, the girls want so much to have a program that uh, is so like the Boy Scouts, uh, change uh, your local Girl Scouts if you want so much to be a military girl. But with a warning, uh, when you are in the military and there is a war, you will go to war and you might get killed. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so let's go back to our original article. Okay, there we go. So. Uh, by now, it's quite clear that uh, it was pretty much uh, this artist, uh, what's her name? Uh, Catherine graphic, Young. Uh, the, the appalled graphic designer, Catherine Young. Uh, she did a very shitty job at uh, SJW Girls Life. I don't think uh, we, it works. It's not fun. No girl, uh, no teenager would buy her magazine. And uh, shame on you, uh, uh, women, you should know for cropping the image and uh, not showing that this image is stained you see here's the here's the nifty thing uh one of the arguments i heard was that they shouldn't be sold side by side on a rack they wouldn't have been and had they not cropped this image i because Girls' life is sitting in the slot where girls' life belongs, and boys' life is sitting in the spot where highlights is, or highlights is supposed to be, as I as we show as we showed a moment ago. Uh, what did I do with it? So, so Michelle Yulo, who wrote the article, uh, please don't exaggerate if your high blood pressure, your spinning head, and your boiling blood, and your jaw. 
uh, please don't hit the, uh, don't, don't let it hit the floor, it hurts. Uh, stop being a special snowflake because you crop the picture on purpose. Okay, there is the actual photo. You will see the you will see the positions on the rack, um, once again. But uh, this is this is bad journalism. You knew you had your you had your reasonable doubt to know that this picture was staged, and you cropped it on purpose so that you could make could write your article with your warning about high blood pressure if you have high blood pressure look away so please this is bad journalism this is not how you do and about covers as they go the next segment the next segment is about showing some uh, covers of girls life that we have uh, this is the wrong one that's this is that is the one you had you had you had started this is uh, this, this is the, this is not the one that he uh, should the, this is the one that is not uh, highlighted yes I know I'm gonna I'll get to that in a minute just keep talking Okay. I, I'll switch it out in a sec. Uh, the thing is, uh, a, a magazine's cover uh, cannot have uh, everything that there is in the magazine, inside the magazine, in the cover. It has the highlights of the, of the magazine. You can't have everything. For example, this issue has the brave girl's plan life-changing advice from chelsea clinton Jenny Spann, and so uh, be unstoppable the brave girl plan the next one please uh give me a second here let me just grab the Nope, that wasn't what I was planning on. Oh, wait, hold on. Just a moment, please. I will fix it. There we go. That's the one you were looking for. Okay. Uh, and there is, there is the, there's the edited version. Okay. Like a boss, real go secrets to winning at life. That is the, not that, that is actually the, that's the link you had, but, oh, here it is. Here's the actual, here, here's the matching image. I apologize. This is, that, that was actually my fault. There you go. Uh, quiz. How should you make money. lots of money? Right. Uh, another one is that my period. Uh, I, oh, it's blurred here. Uh, 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 what's normal and I can't read it here. Uh, what's normal and what's not down there? Yes, what's normal and what's down there? What's normal um, and what isn't? You know, you know, there are a lot of people that don't like talking about that kind of thing. So this would be this would be shit. I I, I would think I would want to know. Yeah, some parents don't uh, talk to uh, to their girls about it uh, only after it happened, and uh, sometimes they are left to learn at school. And depending on the school, they will never learn. So this is important thing. What's the next one? Just a moment, please. Uh, sorry, I have a. There we go. That is the un that is the unedited cover, and I will get the original cover in a moment. Or the the yes, here we go. And we have the amp now we now we have the uh, squarely amplified cover. 
over there. Mm -hmm. Nope. I need you over here. That's what I need. All right. Here is our squirrely amplified cover. Okay. Make major money. What if I'm not smart? So, uh, uh, quit worrying and, uh, and I can't read that. Quit worrying and ace your finals with our test tips. Yes. So, uh, it's, it's there. Uh, uh, it's not only about flirting and spring fashion. There are two important articles on, uh, right there on the cover. There is more inside. You have to read it. Okay. Here's our next cover. Okay, here's our next cover, 472 top uh, summer looks. But if one is actually paying attention, you will see this bit right down here. Read this now. I was abused by my boyfriend. Yep. Think about this for a minute, folks. If there's nothing good in this magazine, then obviously, obviously somebody's doing something wrong. Yes. Do we have more? Yes, we do have a few more. I've got to grab a. I've got. To, I've got actually got to grab it. Give me a second. This one wasn't actually. This this one here wasn't linked properly. So I have to do some. So I have to do a little bit. I have to do a little bit of quote unquote technical wizardry. All right. There we go. There's our next cover. Okay. Hot fashion and beauty buys for under 20 bucks. Right, right, right. right. Let's have a look at the Amplified Edition. Oh, look. I was hooked on prescription pills. Don't let this happen to you. Uh, right down here below. Insta Ego Book Boost. Seven reasons to love yourself and how. And, and do it now. Okay. So I was hooked. Uh, I was hooked on prescription pills. Don't let this happen to you. There is a story in there of someone and they are uh, helping other girls so that it doesn't happen to them. So hot fashion and beauty buys for under 20. Yeah. Nothing. There's actually nothing wrong with this, but nope. this and that are big as far as that goes. Yes. Okay. Our last cover is one that we looked at already in the amplified version. You know, real girl secrets to winning at life. What's wrong with this? Yeah. What, what is wrong with that? I don't, I fail to see the problem here. Actually, we didn't look at that one. Mm -hmm. Or did, yes, we did. Um, here it is in the Amplified Edition. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here we go. Some life hacks. Make your confidence, better grades, and, uh, and more friends. How to get a job and, and more money, too. Yeah. I, is it so bad? I don't see it as so bad. Just from, just from a, a, a glance at the cover. Okay. Now, uh, we have a couple of articles in here that we that you wanted to talk about. Yes, no? Yes. Yes, sir. Control. Click. And I can kill this and put that up there. Here we go. And New details. 
remove. Okay. Click on view details. Just a moment, view. please. Okay, okay. Where is okay view details? This event happened in twenty in April 17, 2015. And it was called Goes Live, Rock Your Life Team Leadership Conference. Can you scroll down? I most certainly can. So, uh, we are Girls Life, Ma meet Girls Life. We're Girls Life Magazine, the country's number one magazine for teenage girls. And our editorial headquarters is based in Baltimore, uh, Maryland. For over 20 years, it has been our mission to inspire, empower, and inform young women through the pages of our magazine and the content on our website. Now, we are taking this mission to the next level with our first ever Rock Your Life conference on April 17th. What's Rock Your Life? Now, the Rock Your Life can I make a, hold on, let me make a, let me make a quick note here. Notice that she says for over 20 years. This magazine is at this point almost 21 years old. Or, let's see, 1994, 2014 would be 20 years. So we're looking at, a, at we're looking at a magazine that is just now old enough to vote. Boys Life has yeah. been around since 1911. That makes it 106. Just a, yeah. just a, just a quick side note. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I'll shut up now. The Rock Your Life Teen Leadership Conference will empower teens to start living and rocking. Oh, whoa, whoa. Their dreams right now. Whether she wants to start her own business, pursue a passion, or make a difference in the lives of others, we are helping girls realize their full potential starting to be. To walk out the door totally inspired a tangible roadmap to success. What will girls learn at Rock Your Life? It's a full day of major inspirations. Girls will score, get your goals, all-star panel of uh, teams who accomplish amazing things in business, sports, fashion, philanthropy and more. They will attend hands-on breakout sessions led by experts, network with industry pros and make friendships with like-minded teen girls. Plus, they enjoy a delicious lunch, fun other of the parties, sweat bags, giveaways and more. So yeah, an entire day dedicated to empower girls to start living and rock their, their dreams right now. And the breakout sessions are being handled by teens and not professional feminists. Yes. There are 150 slots available and apparently they sold them out. Yep. So I fail to see where that's a problem. I think this is they, they are doing a good thing here. What is our next link from? All right, give me a second here to grab to grab the link itself. This one's from girlslife.com itself. Oh look, this is actually Girls Life, Girls Life has a section called Life. Get in the game with soccer superstar Carly Lloyd. We probably shouldn't read this one word for word because no, it is actually no. copyrighted material. But yes. uh, uh, this is about a professional soccer player called Carly Lloyd, and uh, she she tells about her self confidence and. She tells how to believe in yourself to make your dream come true, not only in sport. Can you scroll down? She traveled all over the world thanks to sport and uh, she wrote a book 
all heart, my dedication and determination to become one of soccer's best. And there she talks about, uh, and I will quote, it's not just a book about soccer. You don't have to be a soccer fan or know much about soccer. It's just a book of lots of, uh, of obstacles and things that have come away both on and off the field. Any girl can pick up and get some important life lessons out of it. So it's about girls chasing their dreams. So if you set up, if you be, believe hard that you can do something, if you believe that you can and you work hard to do it, here is Carly to tell you that you can do it. Okay, uh, our next link is also a is also direct is also an article again from Girls Life. This these links that we are showing now will be uh, 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 on the video page. Your uh, reading, if you want it. Tough stuff. This is why cyberbullying should be taken seriously. This is the story of one Brandy Vallis and how her life uh, uh, was uh, made miserable. And, and eventually ended. Ended by suicide. Uh, but at the time of this article, two weeks ago, and it ex extend and, and it extends of on the on the point of cyberbullying, saying that seven percent of st of students will be targets of cyberbullying and gives of what to do if you are a victim of cyberbullying. Don't keep it to yourself. What to do instead. Again, the link will be on the video. Uh, one of the things I one of the things I note here is that they've got these numbers in the wrong order. Uh, if you're being cyberbullied, folks, male, female, whoever. Uh, do one and two certainly. If you well, do one at least. Then go to then go on to five, then four, two, and three. <coughs> because the service providers can't necessarily do anything about it directly. But if you go to the police, the police can make the service providers do something. That's the way. It, that's the way it should go. These these are all all out of these are out of order, but they're still all valid steps. But if you're having a problem, if you're having that level of problem, talk to your parents, talk to the folks at the school. If it's still going on, go to the police. Don't do something because stupid. Because if there is someone that is threatening you, is trying to dox you, that is bullying you, you uh, are not alone. Don't stay alone. Don't feel alone. Don't drown into despair there is no need to suicide because there is there is a horrible person out there getting their kicks out of your death there is no need for this and there are steps to be taken to avoid it and this is inside that oh so Vain and girlish and not empowering, horrible girls' life magazine. Oh, absolutely. This can't, this 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 magazine is pure evil, isn't it? It's horrible. It's it's terrible. Here's our next one. Yes. Uh, get inspired. Earn extra Christmas cash with these part-time gigs. So you thought that you would have uh, some money in your bank account from your summer job and oh, you don't have it. So what can you do? So some examples, grab present 
department store, baby seats, shovel snow, run a hot cocoa stand, sell crafts on Etsy. Uh, you are what and do it yourself thing. So it uh, it offers you ideas to make some money, get some cash. <laughs> Now I'm gonna I'm going to put a caveat on that on that hot cocoa stand. Make sure you check with your local municipality about what the licensing requirements are. We've actually we've been seeing eight year olds lose their lose their lemonade stands because they didn't get the because they or their parents didn't get the appropriate licenses. Just a just a quick note because there are some places that take real dim views of that shit. Um, they should actually just let that let that stuff go in my opinion uh but there are some places that require it some of them yeah. actually requ and i think one in i wanted i want a uh, lemonade stand a few years ago in florida was shut down completely and them forbidden to open another to open another business till the kid was 18 uh because they didn't have health cards oh. you know just little stuff yeah you okay. probably put anthrax in your lemonade yeah, I know, right? What's that? <laughs> well, I don't know. Most most lemonade comes as a kind of a yellowish white powder. It might be anthrax. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Here's another one. Fully victim to beauty queen. Yeah. So it's another one about uh, bullying can happen to anyone, even to beauty patient girls. And... Uh, how this girl uh, got out from being bullied badly and how she became Miss Heart of Ohio Team USA. And <coughs> it, it's an interview to girl's life and uh, she says that she was so badly bullied that her mother had to physically pull her out of bed and dress her to make her go to school. And look where she is now. Okay. Uh, moving on here, let's see. Moving on. Again, all of these links will be in the description down below if you want to have a look. Okay. Ready to play. They're talking about sports. And this is for the World Series. This was uh, September or October. Um, yeah. So, uh, they say, baseball is great, but why does this video even need to be made? Well, baseball for all share this startling statistic. Over 100,000 girls play youth baseball, but only 1,000 girls play high school baseball. What happened to those 99,000 uh, players? Well, some Their of them, I, I'm, I'm, I'm fairly sure that uh, a great number of them just wandered off. I mean, there are a lot of girls that do exactly that. Yes. So, uh, what happened to them? Why they dropped and... Uh, uh, what baseball? Um, maybe they were told that baseball is not for girls. Oh, uh, what baseball is for girls? Yeah. So if you ever doubted your ability to do something, anything, especially something that is in a male-dominated arena, do it. Hey, feminists! How about a lesson? They are talking about have a lesson. They are talking here about uh, a male-dominated arena. Look here. Are you happy, feminists? Yeah. Okay. So, you set the standard for other girls who have the same interests as you, but are too afraid to indulge them. And you'll be proud that you didn't let something as silly as gender get in the way of doing something that you truly love. And it, this article was in that, in that very issue that became an issue. September is the Child Cancer Awareness Month. 
Yes, it was in the same issue that What's His Face put on a freaking rack and took a picture of. <coughs> and then the other idiot uh, made it, uh, remade it as how it should be. Well, without, she thinks it should be anyway. Without even knowing that inside that issue was this article. Don't judge your book by its cover, folks. Seriously. Seriously. This is really uh, our last link here and uh, our last comment. This is because this specific article was inside that issue that was uh, slandered, mocked, and remade as how it should be. And nobody even cared to open it and read it. So people, be skeptical. When you see something that smells like shit, it probably is shit. All right. I went to the trouble. I went to the trouble of digging on the internet. What was this? What, all this noise about? Why couldn't you? Shame on you. Women, you should know. Shame on you all. And Girls Life, you rock. All right. I think that's going to be about it for us today. Uh, we will be back another time with another topic. Uh, but we will see you guys soon. Uh, Kenny, you want to, do you, do you want to yeah. do the outro here? Yes. Please, people, stay skeptical. All right. We'll see you later. <laughs>